California. Their population is doing very well. They're at about 300,000 individuals. So they were a great success story for conservation. California sea lion populations are very stable. Now there are different types of sea lions. Just keep in mind that we're seeing a very small portion of this whale. Fin whales can get up to about 85 feet in length. So these whales can be huge. We're only seeing that very small surface of the whale. Now if you look right over to about our 9 o'clock side, you see another boat over here. That's the Christopher. They're also on a whale watch, so feel free to wave over to them. They're hanging, hanging out and watching this whale as well. Now next time our fin whale pops back up, take an extra good look at that fin that it has on the top, that dorsal fin. Uh, these fin whales, you can tell them apart from other types of baleen whales, uh, with that dorsal fin, they have a pretty tall dorsal fin compared to some other, uh, some other baleen whales. Now that dorsal fin has a really important role in how this animal moves. Mary Beth was just talking about uh, that powerful fluke, that really powerful tail that they use to propel themselves through the water. It sounds like we might have gotten a little, uh, a little bit of a whale poop right here. Take a nice deep whiff, everybody. Ah, second biggest animal on the planet has uh, has quite a bit of poop going on there. Yeah, everybody poops. It happens. That's what happens when you eat two tons of food a day. So you may have realized by now that it does take quite a bit of patience to do whale watching. And these animals will come up to the surface, they'll exhale and inhale a few times, and then they'll make a deeper dive that lasts a bit longer. So it does take some patience to be able to stick with the whale, wait for it to surface again. We're pretty fortunate these fin whales don't hold their breath for an incredibly long period of time, maybe 10 or so minutes. There are other species of whales that will hold their breath for much, much longer. One example of that is the sperm whale. And we'll talk a little bit now about uh, what threats these incredibly large and powerful animals might face. Well, first we'll start off with maybe some natural threats. Uh, there's actually a type of whale that feeds on other whales. Anyone know what that might be? Killer whale. Killer whale, yes, exactly. Orcas, there's a reason why they're called killer whales. They eat lots of different things in the ocean. Orcas have been seen eating everything from small fish uh, to larger fish, including salmon, actually rerouted to decrease the chance that whales would be close to large ships. So that's been something really important for conservation that's happened here in Southern California that's helped to protect these large species.